Oh, you guys. So, I know I just recently opened the package for one of my previous teams, the Florida Panthers, who are also a Stanley Cup contending team. Well, this afternoon, I want to do it for their opponent, who I'm also trained for. And it is the Knights of Vegas. <laughs> this smile here represents my mood, or totally not, because right now I am tired as shit. Having to clean my house since my siblings, who are older than me, do not know how to watch or clean over themselves. Can't even check the shit. Who cares? So, I got this jersey here. You don't want to care about it. You just want to see it open. Supposedly came very quick from Royal Mail standards. It came in the morning instead of like in the evening or a week later. But anyway, I'm just gonna open it right now. This guy puts so much tape. Holy crap. Absurd, man. Oh my god, give me this, give me this, this parcel bag, that's nice of him, because I am thinking about selling one of my stuff, so that's very cool of him, to be like that, almost there, you know what, I'm just gonna break force, fuck, shit. Florida one wasn't so hard. I know I just want to go off Oh, there it is. And look at that more tape. You gotta be shitting me. Oh my goodness. Oh, this one isn't so hard. And there's another one inside an outer layer of bubble wraps. So are you kidding me? Oh my god. This guy really does not want to fuck it up. And I actually do admire that. Because my Florida Panthers one, when I received it, it had literally no no bubble wrap or anything. And and that one was shipped from America, so no no, that was with one of the one of the jerseys I just ordered is a is a whaler's one I think. I haven't uploaded the video yet because I just don't want to do it now. Or maybe I, you know, I don't know. Just forget about what I just said. Hmm, look at it. 90% done. I mean, I don't know. And okay, finally, after like four minutes of removing the tape from these boxes, I finally got it out. Sure enough, this is brand new. And it's in the packaging. Original Adidas packaging. So this guy had this thing for like, who knows how many years. He got this listing, he didn't even remove it. He just, he just posted a picture like this and it was just like this. So, I got myself a collector's item. One of the most hardest to find jerseys of all time. Even a blank one's hard. Like, I just stumbled across this on eBay. Not like not like the American one, like the UK one. So imagine to my absolute shock that this guy was selling what is considered one of the most highly soft jerseys for like the starting price of a hundred and eight pounds. One zero eight. I'm not bullshitting. One zero eight. That's like one forty dollars or something. That's the price of one of those. Crappier reverse retros like the Toronto Maple Leafs 1.0 jerseys. And here he is selling something else for such a cheap price. But I'm not complaining because, believe it or not, this is my second time buying this jersey. Because, wait, let me do something. You know, I want to take a picture of it from, uh, from the packaging, but I realized I don't want to make any sense, so... I literally bought this one like around close to two months ago 
it was a size 60. I had so much confidence that it will fit me without a problem. So I wore it for like, what, two seconds. And guess what? It was overweight. It was too big on me. <laughs> so I sold it immediately on eBay, on Reddit, and I got like $250 for it. Because I bought that one for like $180. Yet here I am. Yet here it is. Here I am now buying the same thing. But it actually fits me. It's a size 54. And yeah, honestly, in terms of reverse retro, I prefer this to the 2.0. Because for one, I don't like I don't like wordmark jerseys. And two, I, I just love the design. This logo with the cross swords going behind the Vegas star. With the gold being very noticeable. Oh my god, this jersey is beautiful. And the fact that the striping here has that Vegas V on it to represent the Vegas Thunder is like, oh man. And the fact that the color is all gold. This is a sexy jersey. This is a very sexy jersey. And look at it. It is brand new. This thing goes upwards of like three or four hundred dollars for a blank. These things are ultra rare. Yeah, here I am able to boast about it on my YouTube channel of like 600 subs. I mean, there are some jersey collecting channels who, who are much more successful than me not being able to have this jersey. Yeah, here I am, some bloke in the UK managing to have what is considered to be one of the most rarest jerseys of all time. Anyway, let me put it on. Let me put it on. I don't have my glasses on because I'm I'm so drowsy right now. And I'm I'm excited, but I'm just drowsy. Oh man! Now look at this beauty. And since it's size fifty four, no problem with the wear or anything. But goddamn this jersey. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not wearing underwear. I'm wearing my shorts. It's just very short, so. Yeah, Vegas Golden Knights 1.0. Like, I will say that the sleeves here are very scratchy. Because it has that sparkly gold thing where the material used is very scratchy and all, so. But yeah, thank God. I have this jersey that I literally bought months ago. And now I finally got the one that fits me. Because I didn't, I didn't want to sell this thing. Because this jersey is so amazing. But now, by the grace of God, by the, it must be God's intervention or something. Because I managed to get this from some random listing on eBay. Which wasn't even found. Like, I was just scrolling and I found this thing for like 108. I ended up paying like one, like 128 pounds or something. Which is like dirt cheap. Like 100 pounds for a jersey, if anything, is expensive. But for something like this... That's super rare and it's the most reasonable price I've seen for a reverse retro. Like, god damn. This is a beautiful jersey. I'm glad it's my only Vegas jersey because... Damn, it's, it's, a, it's a work of art. I think the red contrasts super well with the... Against the gold and the black. Like, the red just works super well against the gold and black. Such a unique and out there jersey design. I love this very much. And technically it's not official, or maybe it is from the day I record this video, but the Vegas Knights are going to go against the Cats of Florida. So if I also choose who, I'll, who I want to win, I'll, I'll actually have a bit of trouble because, believe it or not, I do support both teams. I do support both of the teams, though. I like Vegas for how they're this brand new club who came out of nowhere and they're suddenly kicking ass, taking names. Like, they were so close to winning the first ever, making... Hockey history of being the first ever franchise club to win their first ever Stanley Cup in their, in their inaugural season, but they failed because of the Capitals. It was a good run, so I wouldn't mind seeing them win. It would be like them getting, getting the success that they deserved for all these years. And to literally tell, the, tell to all those conservative, old school NHL fans that. You see, hockey does hockey doesn't need work in the south, in the heat, in the hot states. It does work. And I just realized that. Wait, okay. 
I just realized that both teams, the Florida Panthers and the the Florida Panthers and the Vegas Golden Knights are two teams who are facing each other and they're both coming from very hot climates. So it's like the battle of hot cities going against each other. How hype is that? That is super hype. I like that a lot. <laughs> I'm just taking a picture of it to put on my social media because fuck it, who cares? It's not like people are going to see my shit. I just like it. It's a cool thunder. So anyway, I'm also training for Florida because this might be sound like a petty reason, but I just love them for their badass looking logo and the uh, jerseys they wear. Like, like their away jersey in particular. It's honestly one of the best in the entire league. Like when they were going against the Canes, they just look like a high school team now in Jersey. But you see the Florida Panthers, it just looks badass and cool as shit, man. Like very cool. Not to mention the guys who are playing. Like I, I, I don't really, I can't really pronounce his name well. But the guy who's been scoring every overtime game, that guy, he like like for his performance this season. I think that alone should make him be in the cover of NHL 24 because this guy, he's nuts. Scoring overtime goals left and right, left and right. He does. He deserves to get some 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 of that EA Sports money because guy he is good. So I'm cheering for the Florida Panthers because they made it to the playoffs in 1996. They fucked up to the Avalanche. This can be their their time I just realized that this is like both teams they just made to their this is like their second Stanley Cup finals. Both teams coming here like both of them this is like their second official Stanley Cup final appearances. So seeing and both of them lost to the other team. So this this Stanley Cup finals is the most meaningful I've ever seen because one team they got butchered for one and the other team they got butchered for one it's just that one of them is very very old and one of them is very very recent it's like a battle of old versus new expansion teams like this is going to be an epic crazy match so yeah I need to go outside and get something so yeah I'm going to see this, this next jersey I'm going to cheer for both teams whoever wins I win so yeah I'll see you guys Thank mm -hmm. you.